Hello, this is Top Stories on Viewer Television. I am Patient CD. The National Association of Sea Dogs, popularly known as Pirate Confraternity, has called for the elimination of violence against women. It made the call at a public awareness and empowerment event for survivors of gender-based violence, readers and indigent women. The program, which was supported by the Ogun State Ministry of Social Services, was held to commemorate the 2022 International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women in the State. Speaking at the event, the President, Adebasin uh, Ayodele, said the association was committed to ending all forms of violence against women and girls through advocacy projects, services, actions and partnerships. The Kogi state government has called on the federal government to find a permanent solution to the perennial flooding affecting some states. Managing Director Kogi State Agricultural Development Agency, Bello Ogirima, stated this at the opening ceremony of the two or of a two-day training for farmers and extension officers in the art of mitigating flood disaster, especially as it is affected farmers and organized by the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development. He said the need for more efforts on the part of the federal government was obvious in the face of the devastating effects or effects of the recent flood that ravaged parts of the state recently. Some federal ministries, departments and agencies have continued to engage in backdoor recruitment despite the employment embargo imposed by the federal government since 2020. Uh, the federal government has, however, threatened to sanction those involved in the illegality, including the federal inland revenue services. Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Limited, Central Bank of Nigeria, and the New Customs Service, among others, MDAs. Investigations show that some agencies issued employment letters to job seekers which were not accredited by Office of the Head of Civil Service of the Federation and the Federal Civil Service Commission, while others simply replaced retired or dead officials with friends and family members. But the replacement were done without approval of the OHCSF and the Federal Civil Service uh, Commission. Wife of the President, Aisha Buhari, has withdrawn her case against the final year student of the Federal University of Dusi, Jigal State. Aminu Mohammed, following pressure and condemnation by activists, Amnesty International, the National Association of Nigerian Students, and other Nigerians, the Persecution Council, Fidelis, Ogbogbe, while withdrawing the case on, on behalf of Aisha, said the president, while being the mother of the nation, decided to withdraw uh, the case following the intervention of well meaning Nigerians, Justice Yusuf Halilu of the High Court of the Federal Capital Territory, commended Aisha for withdrawing the case. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission says it will on Tuesday commence the physical inspection on auctions of 649 forfeited vehicles located across nine states and the Federal Capital Territory. The exercise, which will be carried out by the Commission's appointment uh, auctioners, will also include the auctioning of 15 vessels and barges in Rivers, Delta and Lagos State, about 39 mobile phones, 11 laptops and other devices. The EFCC in a public notice advertorial noted that from Tuesday there will be physical and e-auction of items which were subjects of final forfeited orders in accordance with its Establishment Act 2004, Public Procurement Act 2007, and the Proceeds of Crime Recovery and Management Act 2022. Rather. Now the Borno state government has officially shut down Gubio IDP camp in Maiduguri. The symbolic exercise flagged off by the deputy state governor will see the resettlement of 12,000 displaced persons back to their ancestral homes in Abadan, Kukawa, Mongunu, Ngazei, Maiduguri, Jere, Bama, Kunduga, Mate, Ingala, Kala, Belge, and Guazo local government area states. 
of the state, that the displaced persons were given relief materials and each of 100,000 100, naira to support their livelihood in their respective communities. The Deputy Governor, Governor Usman Kadufur, Kadafur said the calm closure is as a result of improved security across the state. We were given bags of rice and maize, cooking oil, a blanket and kitchen utensils and others. I really appreciate the government for all the items given to us. When I go back to my local government, I will farm to sustain my family. The last visit of the governor, he said we can decide to live in Meduguri or go back to our ancestral homes. But for me, I will go back to Marti local government with my children. And that's all on Top Stories. I am patient, Siri. Please enjoy the rest of our programs.